the hacker known as Guccifer breached the email account of George W. Bush's sister, Dorothy Bush Koch. Guccifer released photos of Bush's amateurish oil paintings and details regarding the ailing elder Bush. The mainstream media spent weeks debating whether Bush had any talent as an artist, even going so far as to interview his art teacher. This was a smokescreen, however, in order to divert the public away from something much more important, that Guccifer may have the goods on the secret world of the elite that pull the levers in American society and the world. Guccifer's second email hack was much more significant, breaching the AOL account of Hillary Clinton advisor Sidney Blumenthal. The first email released was dated September 12, 2012, sent to Clinton the day after the attack on the Benghazi consulate. The email brought some jaw-dropping revelations, including linking the CIA and the Muslim Brotherhood. First, that the Muslim Brotherhood were part of the current Obama-backed Libyan government. Second, that the CIA had been in bed with the Gaddafi regime. Third, that the CIA switched sides from Gaddafi to the Muslim Brotherhood-linked Libyan rebels. Fourth, that when the rebels toppled Gaddafi, they found a treasure trove of documents linking the CIA to Gaddafi. And fifth, that the attack on the Benghazi consulate was funded by Saudi billionaires and carried out by the Al-Qaeda-linked group, Ansar al-Sharia, in retaliation for the CIA backing the Gaddafi regime. This we discussed in detail in our previous video. Guccifer, who the mainstream media has portrayed as subscribing to wild conspiracy theories involving the Council on Foreign Relations, the Trilateral Commission, and the Illuminati, may have something to back up with his so-called wild claims. He has now released a March 21, 2012 email hack from the account of Colin Powell, an email sent from Andrew Knight, the director of Rupert Murdoch's media empire News Corp. In the email, Knight urges Powell to encourage Tony Blair, the former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, to attend the playground of the elite, the Bohemian Grove. The Bohemian Grove has been called the American version of the Bilderberg Group, a secret gathering of the rich and powerful to decide how the world will be run. The June 2008 Bilderberg Group meeting at the Westfields Marriott Hotel in Chantilly, Virginia, was secretly attended by Democratic rivals Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. Mysteriously, or not so mysteriously, Clinton shortly thereafter dropped out of the race, obviously Barack Obama being the candidate of the globalists. The Bohemian Grove, a much different breed than his Bilderberg cousin, held a month after the Bilderberg soiree. Held in Monterio, California, they only admit males, and there are reports of male prostitutes that service the attendees. But that is mild compared to other goings-on. There is always an occult ceremony sometime during the week, called Cremation of Care, where members wearing red hooded robes cremate a coffin effigy at the base of an idol they call Moloch. Conspiracy theorist giant Alex Jones infiltrated the Bohemian Grove on July 15, 2000, and videotaped the ceremony, where a mock human sacrifice was offered to Moloch. Victory with thy doubts. Hail fellowship's eternal flame. Once again, Midsummer sets us free. Barack Obama has been tied to Marxists, with his decades-long link to the Democratic Socialists of America, not to mention his membership in the Marxist New Party, which he joined January 11, 1996. And he was linked to the Bilderberg Group in 2008. Given that Obama has long been suspected of having several homosexual relationships, primarily through Jeremiah Wright's church, and the Bohemian Grove is known for its rampant homosexuality, given that the Bohemian Grove is the American counterpart of the Bilderberg Group, the question is, Will the hacker Guccifer release emails linking Barack Hussein Obama to the Bohemian Grove? Linking him to the globalists? Linking him to the banksters that are fleecing the European Union and planning on fleecing America with the next orchestrated economic crisis? If so, will the whole globalist house of cards come tumbling down? Let us hope so.